All right, so uh, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to do the Desmos card sorting with some self-checking so that the students know how many cards they've, they've matched correctly, plus when they know, uh, it'll give them feedback as to when they've found all of the matching sets. So let's get started. Uh, so right now I'm in Desmos and I'm gonna go to browse my activities and I'm going to go to custom and make a new activity. Uh, this is the card sort demo. I'm gonna hit new activity. Now, because I never remember the code, I add a new tab and I always search for CL Desmos and that's gonna give me the computation layer documentation. This is the money. That's where all your information is gonna show up. And I'm gonna immediately go straight to card sort because I know that's where all my information is. So let's create that card sort real quick. I'm gonna go down here, click card sort, and I'm just gonna two, three, four, five, six. So let's just say we're gonna match the letters A, B, and C with the numbers one, two, and three. All right, so let's make our answer key. A goes with one, B goes with two, C goes with three, and there's my answer key. All right, so now, now that my, my card sort is ready, you'll notice there's no feedback. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name my card sort, and I can name it anything. Now, uh, let's name it baseball, just, just to make a point here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my computation layer, and I clicked on that comp, uh, computation layer documentation, and I clicked on car card sort, and here it is, matches key. So I'm gonna copy all of that code and I'm gonna paste it into the computation layer of my card sort. Now there's two places right now. I have an option right there or I have an option right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it right here in the, um, in the main thing. And that's because, I'm gonna paste in, because of that subtitle thing. That subtitle says that's the message, the feedback that the students are going to, to get. You'll notice I get a couple of errors. So this subtitle, by the way, um, means it will, it'll put it up here on the canvas itself. All right, so I'm gonna go back in because I have some errors. Now this error, when I mouse over it, it gives me the information. It says, unable to find component or variable sort. The components you've named so far are baseball. That's because this word sort is actually like a, like a variable. I need to change it to baseball because that first little thing is is describing that first word is describing what I named my card sort. I named it baseball, so I need that word to be baseball, not the word sort. So if I change this to football, I'm going to get an error. But when I change this to football, that error goes away because that word is the, the key. Now it says, uh, here's the variable, mark our complete as yes when everything, uh, when the match, when matches yes. When this is yes, then mark it as complete, all right? So you'll notice when I hit preview, there it is, matches key, no. But that's because I'm not done. So once I've matched, watch what happens when I've matched these last two. That no is gonna turn into a yes. And there's my feedback. But I wanna give a little bit better feedback than just matches key. Now I'm gonna put, have you found all of the matches? And now I'm gonna hit preview. See, now it's more user-friendly. Have I found all the matches? No, but when I make my labels and match them. Now it says yes, because I have found it. It's just a little bit more user friendly. Now, uh, if I want, I can also put in this idea up here, uh, where, uh, no, total correct card. So I can give them feedback as they are making progress. So I'm gonna copy this. And so it's gonna say, how many cards do you have so far? And it'll give me the number. That's that, the point of that. So again, I'm gonna put it right here. Now, I'm gonna put it way up at the top. And now I'm getting an error. 
Now remember this first error is because it says it's looking for something called sort, but I've named it football. So I'm gonna change that to the word football. The second thing is I'm only allowed to have one subtitle. I can't have both subtitles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of code right here and copy it and I'm gonna include it down here in the original subtitle that I had created and I no longer need this portion because I put it down here. So now I'm gonna have a two-lined subtitle. The first line of the subtitle is gonna to say total correct cards and the second line of that subtitle is gonna say have you found all the matches. So I'm gonna click preview, there it is, what bam, I have no correct cards until I put these two together and now I have two correct cards, but I haven't found all the matches. And I can put these right here. Now if I put something here, uh-oh, it went back it went back down. So if I it's telling me it's keeping a running tally of how many I've got correct. And once I've found all six correct cards, it will now say yes. And that is how you create um, that's how you create a card sort so that it is self-correcting.